I'm on the State Education Committee, so I've been following what's happening with the I-STEP tests very closely, and I'll tell you, um, it is a failed test that we need to scrap. But we still have it, so we need to do some modifications this year because it has some really damaging damage that's causing for our teachers in schools. House Education Committee began to address this for teachers and the Senate did the same thing for schools. So in the next week or so, we will have two bills on a fast track that are going to provide relief uh, to, of the stress on teachers, students, parents, so that we can find another way to uh, provide accountability that is also something that is good for students, that makes learning fun and creative, and will help bring you know, young people back into the career of teaching. Currently, the yellow school buses are rolling in Muncie, and that's because we passed legislation three years ago to keep them on the roads in Muncie and other school systems that are in the same situation. Those three years are up. So this year, we need to make that permanent, or if that doesn't work out, then at least another extension. I have um, listed as an author, co-author of a bill that will do that. And I know Senator Lannon over in the Senate is doing the same thing. The current situation with Indiana roads is that too many of them are crumbling and are full of potholes. Same thing with our bridges and streets. So we need to do something about it this session. What I would like to see is not just work on the state roads, but also our local roads and, and bridges. There are three competing plans in the uh, session this year, so I think people are in agreement that something needs to be done. And we'll be talking and working out uh, what that something is and how to pay for it. And speaking of paying for it, I think that a lot of us don't realize that the taxes we pay at the pump don't all go to our roads and streets, that the sales tax is diverted to our general fund and pays for other things while our streets are falling apart. We need to change that, and that's what uh, my Democratic Caucus plan does. Indiana should add sexual orientation and gender identity to our Civil Rights Code because we saw what happened last session when it was such a fiasco. You know, this can be done very simply by just adding four words and a comma to our Civil Rights Code. And in that way, we could guarantee civil rights to all our citizens, all Hoosiers. It just doesn't take that much to uh, recognize that the LGBT community uh, and citizens, they're our friends, neighbors, our family members, our coworkers. They deserve the same equal rights that the rest of us have.